Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal, and today we are doing another Abercrombie haul because they come out with new stuff and I saunter over to their website and end up ordering some stuff. It happens, you know, it is what it is. Not to mention when they have a sale, it's hard for me to pass up things. They had a sale and I didn't pass up things. Okay, so here it is. Here is the stack. Now, I will say, to defend myself a little bit, I did initially place this order for these things because I wanted to try out their new like active line, YPB, which stands for your personal best. Um, they had active clothes before like leggings and, and tops and stuff like that, but they recently came out with this line and I wanted to try it out. Some of the pieces, actually all the pieces, they're a bit pricey for workout pieces, but then when you compare it to Under Armour or Nike or Lululemon, is it really pricey? Not really. So I took advantage of them having like a site-wide sale. I think it was the 4th of July. So anywho, I ordered some things and then I also got a few other items that are not the YPB, but we're going to start with these. All right, first off, now I have eight pieces, but I'm going to break them up into four separate outfits. So cool beans. Let's start with the first one. All right, first off, we've got these green running shorts. I've been so into running shorts lately. I can't get enough. Um, so here we are with more. They have the little YPB logo right here. Nice detail. They're this cute green color. They have the built-in shorts that look very breathable. They have like these tiny, tiny little holes that will help you breathe while you're running. And yeah, do they have a pocket on the outside? They do. And it has like this flap at the top and then a flap down so whatever you put in there you can like kind of secure it in I feel like that's too much of a trouble though I'm not going to use it uh they do not have a pocket on the left side just the right side but it also has like these sort of pockets I personally don't like to run with anything in my pockets I feel like it's going to bounce out so that's not important these are 45 us 55 canadian $45 for a pair of running shorts is pricey. I got these in a medium because I didn't want them to be too tight. So we will see how those fit. Hopefully not too loose. <coughs> oh, God bless me. And then I also got this workout top in this cute purple color. I thought the purple and the green would look really, really cute. So I got this. All right, it is lined. It is like double lined in the booby portion, but it isn't padded, which I don't mind. I always take the padding out, but if you're someone that wants it to be padded, it's not just warning you there. But I think this will be pretty compressive to like work out in. I don't think I'll have to worry about any movement, but if you have bigger boobies, you may have to. This was $50 US. 62 Canadians. Canadian, not Canadians. Canadian. Man, it's 45 in the UK and then the EU is 55. I mean, it's got all the prices on here. Um, but 50 bucks for this. That's pricey. That's expensive. Wow. Okay. Let's try this on and see if this outfit was worth $90. Actually, more than $90. Hold on. How much were these shorts? $95, excuse me. Let's see if this outfit's worth $95. Let's go. Okay, guys. So, first off, I do not have anything on underneath this top. It is just boobs. Ignore this. Uh, I took off every bit of my lip color trying to get this top on. It's definitely compressive. Okay, I don't know what that accent was. Um, I like this top. This top it's really, really nice. Um, I have been in to workout tops as opposed to sports bras and a top. I have preferred working out in tops like this that 
are kind of like a bra and a top all in one. Now, I will say I could reach in and kind of pick the girls up just a, a teensy bit. Hold on. That's better. They were kind of mushed down here. Um, I will say they are very, this is very compressing. So, I mean, just be aware of that. You got to make sure both of your boobs are pointing the same direction. If you have some little saggy baggies like I do, because uh, otherwise one might be up and one might be down. And, you know, they need to hang out in the same location. Uh, sisters forever. But I really like this top. I, I mean, as of right now, upon trying it on, worth the money. I haven't worked out in it, but it's very comfortable. It almost feels like nothing. Like, even though it is compressive, it's not hurting my boobs. So, it's really nice. Here's the back. Also, gives a little cinch in the waist, making you feel a little snatched. Okay, so about the shorts, I will say this. I could have gotten a small and would have been fine, but the medium works just as well. Uh, the shorts aren't as compressive underneath as they would be probably if I had a small, but still nice, still compressive. They do feel like they would be very, like, cooling, and I like that the legs, like this part, the shorts aren't too tight. Sometimes they, like, make them a little tighter, and it's like, what's the point? Like, this is the tight part. This is supposed to be loose. So I really like it. Here's the back. It comes down lower in the back, so you don't have to worry about your booty cheeks hanging out, which is nice, especially for all of my older ladies out there that may not want booty cheeks hanging out, okay? Sometimes you just want to keep your butt in your shorts, not out of them, and that is totally understandable. The pockets are a nice, nice size, but I would never keep anything in these that you don't want bouncing out if you're actually going to go running. If you're just going to wear these to run errands, by all means, put something in your pocket, but if you're going for a jog, don't. It's going to balance out. And then, of course, there is the pocket on this side, which is kind of weird because it lifts up and then you have to, like, open this part and you can put something in there. And even if you did put your phone, if it started ringing by the time, like, you went to, like, try to get it out if you needed it quickly, they, it, it would take forever, I'm just saying. So, not my favorite design of a pocket, to be completely honest. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't normally use those pockets anyways. I'm always like, oh, look, the pocket. I don't use them. I just don't. So, very comfortable. And I love the purple and green together. So, I like it. I would like to just mention real quick. I did not pay full price for any of these things. Like I said, they were having like a site-wide sale. Oh, that's a hat. I could see it in the viewfinder. I was like, what is this black mask? Um, anyways, they were having a, a site-wide sale. I did not pay full price for these things because I don't know that I would. We will see when I try it on if I think it was worth the full price though. All right, next up we have these shorts. And babe, if you're watching this, these look like... These look like the shorts my husband wears for PT gear. Do they not? <laughs> Hold on real quick. I paid $45 for these shorts that look like Air Force PT shorts. Just, they, they're even the same material. Um, these again have built-in shorts and they have the tiny little holes so they'll be nice and breathable. You won't get too hot and sweaty in your nether regions. Uh, nice thick waistband. Again, I got these in a medium. They're noisy. They're going to hear you coming if you're running outside. You're just going to be like. So let's hope this, this material doesn't start a fire because my thighs rubbing together. I will, I will set ablaze the neighborhood. All right, I got this top to go with it. Y'all, I'm in love with this top. Uh, are these functioning? Holy cow, functioning snaps. Love that. Functioning snaps and it has padding. Cute little workout top. I got this in a small because I've learned my lesson. I need smalls in the workout tops. Now, the shorts, I can go with medium or small. Hopefully, these work because they don't have a drawstring. This pair doesn't have a drawstring. The other ones do. So, uh, also you know, pockets, all that good stuff. Let's throw this on and see if this top was worth $49 and these shorts were worth 45. 
PT shorts. Okay guys, so here are my PT shorts and my top. First of all, this top is not nearly as compressive as the last one, but it still like has some compression. Uh, it does have the pads. The pads are up a little high. They need to be like pulled down a little bit, but I didn't feel like messing with that. I think the main reason why they did the pads in this one is it's white. And so to keep from like showing your nips in, you know, which is very necessary. So kudos to them for that. I will say this is very nice and you can unsnap it all the way down if you want to. I don't know why you would want to, but you can. And that brings it down to underneath my boobs. So you do what you want with it. Now, these shorts are a medium. I could have gone with the small just fine. You can go with your size or you could size up one if you wanted to. I think you'll be fine either way, um, which is good because these didn't have a drawstring. Um, they're very comfortable. I like how they keep their shape out though because I don't know it just looks it looks cute. I like it. Um, I don't know if this stuff like kind of like reflects in the dark. You know what I'm talking about how runners will wear like if they're running and it's dark. I don't know if it does that but it kind of looks like it would. I'm not lying. If my husband were not deployed I would go and ask him do these look like PT shorts? And he would say yes, 100%. So I think it's funny. Now me and him can match. But <laughs> pockets are a nice size. Not as big as the ones on the green one, but still nice size. Again, this one has the same weird pocket, which isn't very big. I don't even know that your phone would fit in there, but, you know, it is what it is. If that's a deal breaker for you, then... Sorry, I don't know. It's not a deal breaker for me, like the size of the pocket. It's no big deal. I'll just wear like a little belt bag out and about. Or if I'm wearing this to run errands, I'll wear my purse and it's no big deal. Things can go in that. Um, I prefer to run with like a fanny pack and put my stuff in there because it stays put rather than it being like on my shorts that can move. But anyways. I really like this outfit. I think it's cute. Again, shorts longer in the back, so it'll cover the bum. It's got the built-in shorts underneath, so if you do sit down and your shorts kind of get stuck up, you don't have to worry about your booty hanging out. But I do like that they have made them longer in the back. A little bit shorter in the front, still very, very cute. Attention to detail. You can tell a woman was like, listen, I don't want my bum hanging out. Let's make them longer in the back. So I love that. Also, ignore the hair. It is getting wacky, crazy from these, the two tops I've tried on. So tight. But anyways, let's move on. Next up, I have this set. It's a set, but it comes separately. You know how Abercrombie likes to do. If you want the set, you got to buy them separate, which is all, it's good and bad. Sometimes it's nice just to put one thing in the cart and you get the top in the bottom. Sometimes you feel like you're getting a little bit of a deal. Um, but if you're somebody that needs a larger bottom and a smaller top, it's good to buy them separate. So anyways, I got a medium in the bottom and it's just like these terry cloth shorts. Um, very popular, but I thought these were cute. I liked the brown color and these were, these shorts were 40, but I know these were on sale. I like the nice thick waistband. There is no drawstring. So what you get is what you get. Um, and then the top was 45 and then again, it's the same like terry cloth type material. It's very soft. The top seems a little bit softer than the bottoms, which is weird, but it just seems a little bit softer. And again, I got this in a medium. I just wanted it to be a little bit looser fitting. Very, very nice. I love this brown color. I feel like this is something that would be easily like dressed up just a little bit. You could elevate this, this outfit, some gold jewelry, some really bright white, um, sneakers and a cute crossbody. You could elevate this really, really easily. And then of course you could wear this to the pool. So very versatile. Uh, let's throw it on and see how it fits. All right guys, so here is this comfy cozy set and it is exactly what you would expect. Very comfy, very cozy. Okay, again, these shorts aren't necessarily, they're a little bit longer in the back than they are in the front. Not so much so, but they do cover the bum. So that is really nice. Remember, I did get these in a medium just because I feel more comfortable in shorts that are a little bit looser. If they're super tight, I'm not going to wear them. They're just, if it's uncomfortable and it's squishing me, 
I'm not going to wear it. I'm just not. So this is really cute. I feel like this is also something you could sleep in. The inside is not terry cloth. It's like a really soft like cotton. So you could definitely sleep in this. No problem whatsoever. But again, you could wear this over your swimsuit to the pool. You could wear it at the beach. Very easy because it is that like towel material almost. That's why I say like beach or like pool or whatever. Very comfortable, effortless. Like I said, I think you could dress this up if you really wanted to. A crisp white sneaker, some chunky gold jewelry, a cute crossbody bag, maybe one like, like this, a little bit of a, a pattern going on. You know what I mean? Super cute. Love that. This actually came from Shein, surprisingly. It's like a knockoff, like Louis Vuitton type like bag um and i bought it thinking that it was probably going to be garbage and it turned out to be really cute and it's one of my favorite bags anyways that's not why you're here i really like this i think it is cute i think it is a 10 out of 10. i don't know if they had other colors but i really liked this this color i can see where some people would be like hell no though because it's so close to your skin tone uh, it might look like you're naked from far away. So that is up to you. I think it'd look really good on a really deep skin tone too. So mm, love that. All right, we have two more things to try on. So let's go check those out. We wrap up the video. Last but not least. All right, first off, I got this little top. I loved the pink. Also, just something about this that makes it kind of look like corsety was really, really appealing to me. I got this in a size small and it was 29 bucks. It's very, very soft and it's very stretchy. There is no boning in this though. It's just an illusion. It looks like there would be boning and there's no padding. So you're probably gonna need a bra in this just for warning you. And then to go with it, I got the Curve Love High Rise The Mom. I saw Danny Austin talking about how she liked the Curve Love jeans, and I was like, all right, I need to try those because I haven't tried those. So I grabbed these, and I thought it would be cute to have, like, a little bit more oversized, like, baggier fit jean with a more fitted top. So that's what I went for. I got these in a size 28 because the last 27 I got did not fit like a 27, and honestly, I was terrified that these would be too tight. These might end up being too big. I don't know. That's the downfall to ordering jeans offline because you can't try them on beforehand. So cute, like the distressing. I will show you more whenever I actually have them on. So let's go ahead and try these bad boys on with this top and then we can wrap up the video. Okay, so I'm going to put you onto something that I have now realized. If you need jeans and you want some from Abercrombie and you have more of a booty, hips, and thighs, you need the Curve Love jeans. I've seen that on several different like styles, but I didn't know exactly what it meant. I, I had no idea and I was like, I don't think I'm considered curvy because to me, I'm not. But these, chef's kiss, I just found my new favorite pair of jeans. Like these jeans make me want to wear jeans, okay? First off, they are hitting perfectly at the ankle. Love that. Second, they look cute on the caboose. Very nice. They fit nicely. They aren't too tight, but they aren't too loose. They don't look too baggy, and that's what I hate. I hate when you get a mom jean, and they just look huge through here, and then they taper to a tiny ankle. It just looks weird. I love the way these fit. It's distressed just enough to be trendy, but not so much that it looks like a cougar got a hold of your pants. And I don't mean a woman that likes younger men. I mean like an actual animal. Uh, I love these. Worth every penny. I think these are like 99 bucks. Worth it. If you are looking for that good staple pair of jeans, try these. These are great. Great, great, great. I got a 28, which is a six. I normally get a 27. But I think I could have gone for a 27 in these, but I like the way the 28 fits. So maybe go just a size up. Just like if you're a 26, get a 27. If you're 27, get a 28. If you're a 30, get a 31. Just go up. One little tick. 
I think you'll love them. Also, can we talk about this top? Huh. Uh, I don't normally like showing this much chest, but I'm here for it. I love it. I'm feeling myself. And this is only $29. I love this little top. Very, very cute. 10 out of 10. These jeans, new favorite. We'll wear them all, all fall. These will be the jeans. I seriously doubt I will find any that beat it. These are the jeans. These are my fall jeans. Love them. Love them. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little Abercrombie haul. I say little eight pieces is actually quite a bit considering how pricey some of it was. Um, I'm just going to say with the athletic wear, the YPB especially from Abercrombie, those are going to be investment pieces. I don't know about the longevity as far as working out in them and washing them and sweating in them and all of that. I can't speak to that. I can just speak to the quality at like first impression, which is good. It's good quality. It's nice material. It's comfortable. It seems to be breathable. All of that. Like, I can't complain. I don't know if I can sit here and say it is worth every penny. I don't know yet because I haven't worked out at them. Follow me over on Instagram and I'll keep you updated with, you know, how I like them because normally if I really love something, I will get on stories and I will talk about it. So you can follow me over there. The link is down below or over there in the description box, wherever it pops up. Um, you can follow me over there. Greatly appreciate it. We have fun over there too. Um, also, yeah, I mean, Abercrombie is what it is. It's, it's higher priced. It's not cheap, but it's also better quality. I mean, you can go to Shein and you can buy a dress for $12. You can go to Abercrombie, you can buy a dress for $100. Go ahead and tell me which one you're going to have a year from now and which one is probably going to be in a landfill just taking up space on the earth. So, and I'm not trying to talk crap about anybody that shops at Shein because I shop at Shein too. I order things from Shein, so I'm not, I'm not passing judgment, no shade, no judgment. I shop there too. I'm just saying quality, but Shein hauls to get more views because you can get four times as much stuff as you can for the price of an Abercrombie haul. So, you know, it is what it is. But I feel like every time I order from Abercrombie, it's an investment. I keep all the stuff that I get from them. I don't always keep all the stuff that I get for hauls, but Abercrombie, I always keep everything. Except for that one pair of jeans that didn't fit. I do not have those anymore. I did get rid of those. But I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that down there and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.